Hello, this is Jackson. Welcome to the Quantum Video Blog. This time we'll be using Quantum Electrum with hardware wallets to do various operations after restoring the hardware wallet on Quantum Electrum, the new version 4.0.13. So we'll be able to do address delegation, QRC20 token operations, and some more things. Here's the uh, table of contents for today's blog. You can see the various operations that we'll be doing and so let's go ahead and get started. The first step will be to install the Quantum Electrum wallet. We'll download it from the Quantum Project GitHub with the link I provided there. Make sure it says uh, Quantum Project over uh, 100 repositories. You know, make sure you've got the correct URL. Here are some of the changes for this version. And the one we'll be focusing on is adding support for restoring from 24 seed words. Various versions of the wallet for different uh, desktop platforms are available here. We'll use the one for Windows. I'm just copying the, uh, the checksum there so that we can demonstrate how you'd use that. Here we've downloaded the executable file, the installer file for Windows. Uh, let me just show you about checking the checksum. This allows us to verify that it's the uh, original version from GitHub. We could download this file checksum utility or some others to do that and then verify the checksum of the downloaded file with what was posted on the GitHub site. I've already done that, so to save time, we'll just go ahead and uh, do the installation. Any Electrum will probably trigger your antivirus. This is a historic issue with the Electrum wallet. We'll override that and go ahead and run the installation anyway. This will go through fairly quickly and then we'll be able to launch the wallet and set it up. There's a few steps to get the wallet configured and set up. We'll use the uh, default wallet name. You can add some other wallets later if you want. We'll use a standard wallet. And we already have the restoration seed words. So we'll click, I already have a seed. Here's where you enter your recovery words, the seed words. Make sure you do this very carefully that you spell them all correctly. No extra blank spaces between the words. Uh, otherwise it won't work right. It'll restore some other random addresses that won't work for you. Enter your password. I'm using a trivial password here. Make sure yours is better than this. And now we're ready to go. The uh, wallet, when you first start it up, needs to synchronize all the headers. That may take a few minutes. While we're waiting, let's set it up. We want to say view show addresses so we can see our addresses and also view show delegations so we can make and see our offline staking delegated address setup. You could also add smart contracts. We won't do that in this blog. Check the progress of the headers. Uh, it's got maybe another 50,000 headers to go. So while we're waiting, uh, let's uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab a um, a super staker address that we'll delegate to. We'll go to the Stakeathon website, and we can look at the list of super stakers. We'll just pick the first one off the list here. Uh, note the fee for this one, which is 3%. So we want to grab the address. Here we're going to uh, mark the address and then copy it. Go back to our wallet and see how it's doing. And there it's uh, fully synchronized, so it's ready to go now. See the green dot in the lower right-hand corner. Go to the 
Delegations page, right click in the window. Select the address you want to delegate. It'll probably be the first one on the list, but you can select some others if you want. Paste in the staker address, the super staker address. Put in the fee. Note that you need about uh, 0.9 quantum in fees for the transaction, for this address delegation transaction. Oops, oh, I need to enter the password a second time here. And there it sent the transaction. This will take uh, a few minutes until it's published in the next block, which it has here. We jump forward about three minutes there. So you can see the delegation is in place. And we can look at the transaction in a little more detail. Again, we spent about 0.9 quantum. And we got a little gas refund back that we can uh, spend 500 confirmations later. Now we can check the delegation for that address and see what's... Ch check our address to confirm the delegation. Going back to the Explorer. This is the address that we just delegated. And we can confirm here that it is delegated to the super staker with that 3% fee. Uh, also notice that we've got some tokens associated with this address. So let's add those tokens to the wallet. Again, we're on the Explorer. We will copy the token contract address. Then we'll go back to the wallet and click the Tokens tab. Right click, Add Token, paste the contract address. And there's our token and the transaction for the token that came through in the past. So now that QRC token is ready to go. Now I delegated a very small amount to that super staker. It won't actually stake, so I'm going to undelegate to remove that and clean it up. Right click on the delegation, enter the password, send it. There we go. And again, that will publish in the next block. And while we're waiting for that to happen, let me talk a little bit about um, security. So you want to back up your wallet, uh, save, save a wallet file so that you can easily recover. Let's see. Oh, you have to enter the directory, give it the path, then it'll save your wallet backup. Also, since you're restoring your hardware wallet, you're exposing it and the private keys to the outside world, you should sweep out the wallet. And then if you're going to reuse it, uh, re reset it so that you have a new recovery phrase after you make sure it's all cleared out. Then three minutes later, we see the delegation is gone. So that's it for this time. Here are some references. You can see a written blog with a little more information about how all this works at uh, quantum-tech.info slash electrum. Again, here's the repository for downloading the Quantum Electrum wallet. And uh, this version of Quantum Electrum is 4.0.13 from March 2021. Thanks for watching the blog. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time.